Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of HRST, we are at video number 4 and in this we discuss about uh, HR groups and HR skills. These are the few fundamental things which you must know before getting into ServiceNow HRST. So what are HR groups? Let me show you. Let's go to groups here, our general group table. So you see here, these are total 21 groups which are out of box, which is provided by ServiceNow. Based on your organizational structure, you may change the nomenclature, you may change or you may add new groups accordingly. Okay, but out of box, this is what we have right now. If I open this one, this is the main group that is HR group. The complete HRST process is provided by ServiceNow out of box and based on that, you have provided this group. So in this group, first of all, we have the role and this role is ServiceNow basic role. It means whoever is a part of HR team will have at least this role. We already discussed role in the last video and we know this basic role is needed in order to do the basic things in uh, ServiceNow HRST module like working on the cases. Okay, so for such things we have this role. So whoever is the part of HR team and that person will inherit this role. Then we have list of all the group members. So you see out of box these are the group people which are there in this HR role. And then we have the child groups. Okay, so this is the parent. Okay, there is no parent to this one. But this is the parent to all the basic HR groups and all the groups which are there in the HR system. Everything based on their job function. All the groups. So we have created groups to manage the job functions like you see HR benefit, HR investigation, leadership, onboarding. If in case you get a new HR service or new anything, you can create your own group based on your structure and provide a role to that group so that it will be managed accordingly. So now coming to skills. So what is a skill? You know, HR department has various uh, specialists and these specialists are available in these groups, right? Let's say you are someone from recruitment background. So you are a specialist in recruitment. You are someone from HR operations or leadership or investigation team. Okay, so you have your associated skills with you so that in case a new HR, uh, you know, case will be created, that case will be automatically assigned to the appropriate skill people. Having a skill help in automating the HR processes so that the appropriate request will reach to the appropriate specialist and it get resolved as soon as possible. So according to your organization, you can create n number of skills. So let me open one of the group here. You see recruiting. Okay, if we open this, you will see it has two skills. First one is hiring. Second one is I think empty. It's having no name. It's a garbage, I guess. But you see here, this is hiring, right? So whenever a new ticket is created, or you can say whenever a new HR case is created, it will be redirected accordingly to this team. So who all is the part of this group? You can say these are the recruitment experts. That's why they have this hiring skills here. So let's say I am a manager of a particular uh, department and I need a certain skill people. So what I will do, I will reach out to these people or I will create a HR ticket that I need some, uh, you know, new hires. And then I will mention my technology on which I want these guys or these teams. Okay. And then that ticket will be automatically assigned to this HR recruitment team or more specifically to the person who is there in this group. Okay. So apart from uh, this skill, it is possible that uh, these people may have certain other skills as well. So whatever skill is best chosen, whatever rules we have defined, the ticket will be redirected to this particular group or this particular group member. So how we are uh, creating these redirections? These redirections are coming from here. If you come, uh, let's say routing. So under routing and assignment, you see a matching rule. So if you come here, you see these are the previously created matching rules. So let me open this talent management one. You see this particular rule is created for HR talent management case. Okay, and this is the condition. If this condition is satisfied, then we are what we are doing. We are assigning the ticket automatically like get agent by skill order latest. It means we are assigning the agents directly to that particular HR case. 
obviously you have to define the conditions and all these things you have to keep all these things in check but I think you have understood the need of a skill okay it is the job function of that particular person or that particular group which really help us in reducing the employee service time and providing the better service to the whole employees so this role group and skills these all things are interrelated okay based on your choice you can create a number of roles groups and skills and manage these things quite well so that your process will be uh, more you know simple and it will take less time to complete or provide services so i hope you understand what is hr roles hr groups and hr skills let me know if you have any doubt and go through all these videos one by one in order to get complete uh, analysis of HRST. Thank you.